Paul Slowinski coming off, well, an indifferent year in 2013. Mark the Hammer Castanini joining me. A loss in the K1. Some big victories back in Adelaide. He would love to finish it in style. Well, in Australia, there is very few people that have uh, had any sort of luck against him. He's uh, such a confidence fighter. But he's travelled uh, recently to overseas and hasn't had uh, the luck that he was searching for. Nevertheless, I still uh, say there's big things ahead for him. And uh, certainly when it comes to Australian super heavyweight ranks, you know when you roll up to a fight to watch Sting, you're going to get your money's worth. And uh, it's great to be here tonight to witness him up against some, a fighter that has everything to gain and absolutely nothing to lose, Nato Lawuli. And we saw Nato war with uh, Steve McKinnon. Show what, what he's made of, show how much heart he's got. And uh, he's doing the same thing here tonight. It's just going to uh, push. And I'm, I'm sure he's here for the fight. Inside side kick that just crept a little higher from Natu Lauli. Apologies all round. Unintentional it was. Of course, Sting with the Max's uh, shorts on. Max is getting right behind Sting, and they have been for some years now. So, big hello to uh, Keith Ellis and Tony Tocasio and all the crew at Max's supplements. Right hander versus a left hander. Slowinski, the Orthodox. Lauli the southpaw, left-hander if you like. Nice leg defence from uh, Nato, just checking low. He's got his leg checks on, he needs to. Sting will switch lead off that left leg. We've seen him do that uh, so many times. Recently on the uh, Knees of Fury card, that switch lead body kick was all it took to take out uh, the opponent there. Lauli with a nice left hand at the end of the exchange, but it's Slowinski dominating and controlling the tempo very much so. Showing a little bit of flexibility there. The big 100 plus kilo New Zealander. And being a southpaw as well, Nato is going to be uh, firing, he should be firing a lot more off that rear leg and throwing the straight left hand like that. He, he won't set as much off his jab because there's really uh, not a lot of benefit. He could set with a hook off the lead, uh, lead step round hook and then bring the uppercut off the rear or a throw the, the, the rear leg kick or the rear round kick and then come back with a straight right. He needs to be keeping that lead leg also on the outside of Sting's and uh, ultimately Sting needs to keep his lead foot on the outside of Nato so he powers up on his right on his right round kick. Straight left hand there from Nato, nicely done. Nice shot, wasn't it? Caught the attention of... Slowinski's a stalker. Oh, oh, a sore stalker at that. And it says inside thigh kicks. If you, if you shoot your range, Andy, to that inside thigh, and the opponent comes forward, the angle works out that it's going to cut into the groin every day of the week. You need to, the inside thigh kick really needs to be thrown as the opponent's not coming forward, or else that's going to be the result right there every day of the week. A kick down south on a man as tough as Paul Slowinski will normally result in a broken foot. And at the moment, it's the sting in a world of hurt. Dr. Peter Lewis, the best ring sport doctor in the country. Bar none, there's no uh, medico that knows more about the combat sports than Peter Lewis, that man on screen now. Just uh, keeping a close eye on proceedings. Seeing so if uh, Paul is going to be able to continue. If indeed he cannot continue, he will win this fight by default because it was an illegal technique. The resting period in favour of Slowinski here. But we know this thing's tough, so he'll, uh, he'll suck it up as the saying goes, and uh, push on through. Sends a tingle down your spine. Call me to saying this thing to take his time until he's fully recovered. Second low shot, both accidental. I have no doubting that from Lauli. Paul knows that as well. And that is the round. Back to the corners we go. A very sore Paul Slowinski. Oh, that's why. Ouch. 
Yeah, there's no doubting that one. There were tears for three rows back in the crowd. Now, what does that do to the psyche of Paul Slawinski? We're going to just make you angry. Does it make you angry? Does it make you tentative? I'll go with the former. Makes you a little on the angry side. Oh, slapping from Slawinski into the ribcage of Lowley. Look the legs of Paul Slawinski. Oh, but Lowley with the uh, double right hand, or double left hand rather. Slawinski calling him on now. Paul wants a fight, and he's found one here in Nate Lowley. Nice body kick from Lauli. The Kiwi certainly uh, shaking it up a little bit and showing he's got a little bit to, to, uh, to put in the centre ring. He hasn't shown that he's intimidated, the New Zealander. And he's remained on the chest of Paul Slawinski. Hasn't given the sting that room that other opponents we have seen over the years. We're well, talking to uh, Nato earlier who was saying at the back he's pretty much trained himself for this fight. He's had uh, a, a few little uh, prep problems in coming into this battle. So he's doing okay for someone that uh, hasn't had a good preparation to step in up against a fighter the likes of uh, Slawinski and still be able to hold his own. Most uh, men without a good prep against Slawinski would be sucking canvas well and truly as soon as uh, the end of the first round would uh, come even close. Slapping leg kick. That rear thigh of the New Zealander. Dropping body shot. Beautifully done, Slawinski. And down to there very quickly as well. One, two, overhand and bang to the legs. Have a look at that. What a combination from the sting. Looking sharp as you like. And a heavyweight with fast hands. I think those low shots have just taken, pardon the pun, a little sting out of Paul Slawinski. He'd still be feeling that pain. Have a look at that. Just slips back, slips the punches, slips the kick. Nato still showing that he's capable of pulling that one shot out that could be the fight turner. We saw that earlier with uh, Rita Machke's fight, just when Ray was putting the pressure on that big one right hand. Just brought that fight to a premature end, and it just takes one big shot. When there's a 100-plus kilo in centre ring and you throw one punch, that one punch can be the game-changer. Ray Demarchi beaten earlier, so two gold Pajardo, two huge upsets, Steve Moxon victorious in our semi-main event, and Paul Slawinski undeniably the favourite for our main event tonight. And Kings of Combat, what a, what a big night of action again, capacity crowd, full house, ultra tune right behind this one, JPS Codings, all the great sponsors, fighting fit, they've all rallied behind. Hisham Hanna and uh, all the guys at Kings of Combat. Kings of Combat number nine will be in April 2013. Keep an eye out for that one. Take a look at some of the highlights from round number two, and there's the three punch combination from Slawinski. <laughs> Plenty of respect between these two super heavyweights and they are just that, super heavyweights, both on the scales and in definition. Oh, big right round kick from Slawinski. Measures with the hands, finishes with the legs, chops low, keeping the pressure on. Paul Slawinski with a huge experience advantage, almost five times the experience of his younger opponent. Shows how well Lauli is faring here tonight. Uh, Lauli is certainly here for the fight. He's taken some big shots and uh, fired straight back, especially off that big left round kick that he's got, Lauli. Lauli and Mick Siebert, now they'd be a good fight too. I think they'd be around about you know, the same sort of experience. So there's another match, maybe match up that uh, Kings of Combat could parade for that big April 2013 show. They never failed to disappoint. Gee, that was a nice power kick inside leg of Paul Slawinski and the South Australian enforcer, he felt every bit of it. Slawinski going high, he searches high, trying to get over and around the guard of the Kiwi. Oh, the one-two from Malawuli. 
Sting just showing uh, some good slipping skills. Slips the punches and gets ready to counter down. One, two, up and finishes with that trademark low kick. Trying to go to the midsection. Is Lau Ali, who's on the receiving end there from Slowinski. Nice work from the Sting, a real exhibition. Blood trickling from the nose from the young New Zealander. Steps in, short left hook from Slowinski with the overhand, opens up now. Pushes forward, double jab, triple jab, down to the body. Lau Ali tries to answer with a straight left. He is machine like Slowinski. Once he gets into that groove, very few in the world can match him. Really digs into that body with those body shots. He's got to be careful that Lauli doesn't counter him with a hook upstairs while he's hooking to the body. Slowinski, one, two straight, looking to finish with the low kick. Lauli, too quick to throw a counter left on his own. An amazing athlete, physically as good a specimen as you'll find, Paul Slowinski, but he's become a real thinking man's fighter hammer. And here he goes on the attack. Slowinski looking for knockout number 62 on his decorated resume. But not to Lauli. He wants to go to the judges' scorecard. Well, Lauli's uh, happy to see this one out if he can make the distance. Slowinski wants to end the night. A little bit earlier if he can, keeps that pressure on. He's on the front foot, he's opening up into the body, up to the head. Slowinski looking for the finisher. And we do go to the judges. Slowinski, Lauli.